Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and thanks for clicking on this video. Now I feel like this has been a long time coming this video. I do get this question all the time, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> No, not really. Your questions are never annoying, guys. Um, but I do think this is probably one of the biggest, like, grey area, misconceptions, misunderstood kind of topic that people just, yeah, I just think people are just don't get it. So I'm here to explain and give my point of view and like all my videos. Um, this is this is only coming from my personal experience, you know, um, this is what my experience of life in the UAE has been like. So yeah, don't come for me if it's different to your experience. But yeah, this is my experience. And I hope that um, you find this helpful. You'll probably find this video helpful if you're either about to move, thinking of moving, you're literally packing and you don't know what to pack, or you're just coming on holiday Day and you kind of want to know what the vibe is like. I'm going to talk about um, kind of different places that you'll probably spend time and what is appropriate and um, yeah, respectful to wear and what is also kind of um, yeah, worn in. Cut that last sentence. And as well as that, I'm going to talk about what is kind of trendy and cool to wear in these kind of situations. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, let's start with probably the reason that all of you ladies watching clicked this video. You're probably unsure about what it means to dress modestly, dress respectfully in the UAE. So in some other countries, um, such as Saudi Arabia, you do need to wear an abaya, but that is not the case in the UAE. You don't need to wear an abaya when you're out in public. Um, it is advised that you dress modestly, but what does that actually mean and how do you apply that to your kind of day-to-day -day life when you're living here? So dressing modestly would mean covering your shoulders and covering your knees. It doesn't necessarily mean covering your head with a, with a scarf or a hijab, um, it just means covering your shoulders so that's no strappy tops, no like strapless tops and covering your knees so no like shorts and no short skirts etc. And I think actually this will also include not having an exposed midriff, so no little crop tops. So that all sounds quite um, limiting and I know that what well, before I moved here I was kind of thinking, oh my god, like what am I going to wear? Like I really, you know, in hot countries, you know, you would never catch me on holiday wearing like... Uh, yeah, like long, long sleeves and long dresses, etc. So this had me quite worried. But now, okay, this is where I think it gets into a bit of a grey area where a lot of people are confused because you probably follow people on Instagram that live in Dubai or that have been on holiday in Dubai and you've seen that they're wearing all your normal, you know, gorgeous, maybe less than modest styles, um, you know, cute mini dresses, bikinis, etc. So let's talk about why that's okay. Okay, so even though it is advised in public spaces to dress modestly, um, this kind of really only applies to, I'd say, um, malls, government buildings, you know, like official spaces, maybe somewhere that you go um, to like do your visa paperwork, which is obviously rarely, um, you know, the majority of time as expats, and like I said at the start of the video, I'm only speaking from my personal experience, so don't come for me, but um, the majority of time as expats, we are spending time in hotels, we're spending time in resorts, we're spending, spending time in bars, we're spending time at beach clubs, and these places are you know, they're full of other expats, you're not going to offend anybody by having your shoulders out in these spaces, and the rules don't apply to these situations. Um, you know, in a similar way, you can drink alcohol and be served alcohol in, ho in bars within hotels, because these spaces are for expats and for tourists. You know, on the other hand, if you are, say, going to a government building or you're working or you're going somewhere where there's going to be lots of local people, that would be very disrespectful for you to wear a mini dress um, or whatever it is 
that just wouldn't be appropriate so I think what you need to do is just use a bit of common sense but if you're watching this video and you're coming on holiday I honestly think you have nothing to worry about even in the malls although it is kind of advised I would say that most people ignore that um not saying you should do that but I am you know I, I will definitely put my hands up and if you've watched any of my vlogs you'll have seen that I've been in you know Dubai mall etc with um vest tops on and, and shorts on and you know no no security member is gonna you know tell you off but I've recently removed to Ras Al Khaimah which is about an hour outside of Dubai and there's much less expats here and at our local mall which I think I'm gonna pop there for a coffee today um, you know it is uh, required that you dress modestly and I have been asked to leave that mall before uh, because I had a vest top on so um, you know, in and, and in my eyes, I, I really just genuinely forgot, you know, I, I was just popping in for something quickly and then and then I remembered that I wasn't dressed appropriately to go inside the mall. Um, so that's just one example that I thought um, would be good to bring up. Um, obviously, that's not, um, I think, a direct reflection of what it is like in Dubai. I've spent three years living in Dubai before I moved out here to Ras Al Khaimah, so I have a pretty good understanding of both situations and you know in Dubai I really have never been never ever been asked to you know leave a mall or dress more modest or anything like that um so I hope that kind of clears a lot of things up all of you people that are coming on to Dubai or coming to the UAE on holiday um you know in a nutshell just remember that it's very likely that you're only going to be spending time in places like hotels and tourist destinations you know restaurants and um beach clubs where it's going to be full of other tourists and expats so you won't have any problems if you are planning on visiting any you know mosques or anything i feel like i don't even need to say this but obviously you need to dress respectfully um you know if you're going to visit um the grand mosque in abu dhabi which is an amazing experience i would definitely recommend it um it's such a beautiful building and such an amazing thing to see and tick off your bucket list um they will actually provide you with an abaya and a headscarf to wear just to be respectful so you don't really need to worry about it in advance you can kind of just turn up and uh, they sort you out and kind of um, make sure that everybody is appropriately dressed. I want to quickly add a little point about swimwear. Um, I think this was kind of this is something that I think people get really confused about if they've never visited um, and of course a lot of Brits and Europeans choose Dubai as a holiday destination where you're going to want to be soaking up lots of sun and spending time in bikinis um, and people get kind of confused about whether that's okay. If you're at a beach club or if you're at the beach then you are of, of course allowed to wear um, swimwear and if you are at a public beach for example JBR beach or um, you know I'm trying to think oh La Mer beach or something like that kite beach you can wear your swimwear you know you're at the beach so that's allowed and that's fine um even though it is kind of a public space um and of course if you're in hotel pools etc etc that's all fine what you're not um allowed to do and i would um you know i've will make sure that I get this across to you properly um, because I know, you know, from my experience as a Brit being on holiday in places such as Spain, Ibiza, whatever, it's common to walk the streets in your swimwear. Don't do this in Dubai. Definitely don't do that in Dubai. Um, that's not appropriate. Okay, now that we've talked about kind of, not the boring part of the video, because I'm sure that was very informative and I hope you found it helpful, but now I think this is more uh, the kind of fun side of the video and I want to give you some examples and maybe some inspiration of outfits, etc., and things that you can wear to different places in Dubai. Um, so let's start with probably one of my favorite activities um, and favorite hobbies ever which is going out to eat and going to restaurants um, and also this amazing phenomenon that we have here in Dubai uh, known as ladies night and then also brunch so I'm going to talk you through um, a few outfit ideas for each of these places okay so let's start with going to restaurants for dinner now me and you know my boyfriend and my friends we all know now that we've been here a while you just know that 
you know, you can never go somewhere in Dubai and be overdressed. There is always going to be somewhere that is, you know, in higher heels, in more glam, more makeup, you know, you will never be overdressed. So that's something that I really love about going out in Dubai is because I love to get dressed up and I love to like put makeup on and, and, and plan an outfit that I really love. Um, you know, you can turn up in jeans and trainers if you want and you can turn up in literally a ball gown and I feel like nobody will bat an eye. So so yeah, I love that you can really get this mix, but um, yeah, for going out for like a chic um, ladies night or dinner in Dubai, I would, I would probably go for uh, obviously the classic jeans and a nice top. Um, I would always go for heels as well and I feel like me and my girls always wear heels if we're going out for dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a few examples actually right here of a few of my different ladies night outfit inspo and hopefully you find this uh kind of helpful um and yeah this also give you a kind of vibe that i think you know you can really get dressed up in dubai and not have to worry about feeling overdressed okay so now let's move on to brunch brunch i feel like is one of the must do's if you're coming on holiday to dubai um and it's also so fun as an expat to try all the different brunches that they have um brunch does not mean breakfast lunch like it does in the uk if anybody doesn't know brunch means um going for an unlimited food and drinks package usually and it's usually about four hours on a friday or a saturday and it's so much fun because um great food you know great drinks music djs whatever um it's some amazing venues in dubai so anyway that's what brunch is let's talk about what we wear to brunch i feel like me and my girls we always go for like more um cute dresses rather than like um kind of sexy evening dresses we'd always go for more like yeah uh day cute dresses but we would always wear heels and i feel like that's what a lot of the british expat girls in dubai go for for the brunches you know maybe a play suit maybe a jumpsuit um so yeah i'm gonna again put a few of my brunch outfit inspirations for you guys right here um and while you're at it be sure to go and check out my instagram page um because yeah i'm living my best life in the uae and i would love for you to join me over there and see what i get up to okay what else can we cover uh we've done kind of restaurants and ladies night we've done brunches i think beach clubs is another like big one and obviously everybody that's coming on holiday i'm sure you'll be rushing to the beach clubs to spend some time in the sun and to work on your tans etc so beach clubs it kind of goes without saying that it will be swimwear but i think what's fun about dubai beach clubs and similarly to kind of you know big european summer destinations is that you can definitely get away with wearing like heels if you want to or like chunky heeled wedges edges or something and like cute sarongs and cute beach dresses so again I'm gonna put uh, some outfit inspo here and I would say that all of these outfits can definitely also be used on yacht parties um, you know this is definitely the vibe that I would go for okay this one's a little different maybe you will be doing this when you're on holiday maybe you won't um, but if you're living here it's very likely that you will be going to gyms and gym classes um, you know in terms of gym and active wear you really don't need to think any different to as you were anywhere else in the world you can definitely wear you know vests or whatever you know have your midriff out that's fine that's what i would do if i was going to a gym class in dubai um even if it's not just ladies only you have nothing to worry about so um yeah so i thought i'd just clear that up and i don't think i'll put any inspo for um gym wear because that's not really what you find on my instagram but anyway i just thought i'd add that in quickly Okay, moving on to workwear. This obviously is going to depend where you work. Um, you know, I worked for a larger kind of um, company that was also quite modern and young. So I would say I got really lucky because I would end up wearing joggers, you know, sweatpants, um, leggings, like just nothing smart at all. Very, very casual jeans. Um, I'd say it was like casual Thursday every single day so um i really did not have i don't have like good workwear inspo for you guys um but you know i do know a couple of people here that have more smarter offices and some that are maybe working with um like local people so you do need to dress respectfully um so this is going to kind of depend what you do you know if you're if you're working um 
in a kind of more corporate role or yeah you're kind of a more senior um, in your industry then maybe you will have to dress up. Luckily for me now I work for myself so I can wear whatever I like. <laughs> um, anyway so um, that is all I have for you guys on this topic and I really really hope you found it informative and helpful you know whether you're planning your trip or planning your move um, and if you're interested in more content like this then definitely hit the subscribe button below because I'm making a lot of videos all about life here in the UAE and what my experience has been like and I would love for you to join me here and I hope I can help you um, even more so let me know um, anything else that you want me to cover on this channel in the comments you can leave me a comment I love to read your comments um, and also go follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye guys <laughs>